afternoon. Good morning, everyone. My name is Greg Greenlee, and thanks for joining me for my talk. That's the ticket for novel ways of improving culture and sharing in, in your ticket grooming. Uh, as you can tell, I changed the title a little bit because I thought improving best fit the narrative of this talk. Uh, and uh, we define culture, or culture is defined by the Merriam Online uh, dis Dictionary as a set of shared attitudes, values, goals, and practices that characterizes an institution or organization. And in this talk, you'll hear some of the simple and practical ways to help improve those things I just mentioned. As for me, uh, as I mentioned before, my name is Greg Greenlee. I'm a senior DevOps engineer uh, at a company called Insight. I'm also the founder of an organization called Blacks in Technology, where we seek to increase the representation of Black people in technology. I'm a mentor at Perscola's. I'm a Linux enthusiast, born and raised in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, I'm also a comic book collector and enthusiast, and I'm a husband and father. And you are a happy stormtrooper. You've been stationed for quite a while on the Galactic Star Destroyer working on some pretty cool projects. Your team is awesome, super collabor collaborative, in sync with one another, and the culture that you all have been able to nurture and build is pretty incredible. Recently, you've been reassigned to the Death Star project. This is a pretty large and important project from what you've heard. Your new, your new team works on the laser cannon functionality. This is completely new technology to you. I mean, you've worked on some smaller lasers, but nothing of this scope. So you were stoked to hear that you were going to learn something new. And so when you joined the team, you noticed that there was quite a culture shift. The new team did stand-ups, but the stand-ups were really more of a status check. They didn't speak really to the common goal. You were kind of working in silos, and you didn't allow, which didn't allow for a lot of transparency into what the other team members were working on. And on top of everything, it wasn't necessarily a blameless culture. Uh, that's another issue for another talk. Despite these culture differences, you were excited to get started and you were looking forward to making an impact. No, no pun intended. But your first task was to write code that automates and calibrates uh, the calibration of the superstar focus lens of the power amp amplification system. So because, you know, when you're trying to blow up something like Rebel bases, the damn thing needs to be pretty accurate. But you had no idea how this technology worked, and you wanted to make uh, a good impression on the team. No worries. Surely the Empire empirical JIRA ticket system had details that can help you get started. But when you opened the ticket, all you got was this. What the what? This is quite different than what you were used to. You thought, no wonder projects here fall behind. You were pretty frustrated but you quickly remember that your team started out the same way as it and as it started to mature, so did your sprint ceremonies. You recall that your team en engaged in a ticket grooming process and you remembered four simple things included in almost every ticket you groom that really seemed to help your team improve their communication, collaboration, learning, and sharing. First things first, groom your tickets. If you don't have an official ceremony around the process, try and start one. Should be a team effort. The backlog ticking grooming process allows for collaboration and helps to provide transparency regarding different aspects of a project's or team's work. You can try to pitch this to management, but if you can't get an official ceremony on the books, you can always kind of go at it solo. See what, I, see what I did there? And you can share this with others and adopt until you reach critical mass. No pun intended again. The first things first, a description. Just to let you know, a title is not a description. I repeat, a title is not a description. A description describes functionality that will be valuable to a user or purchaser of the system. Employ user stories, who are your customers? As a user, I want the laser to automatically calibrate and increase its output to destroy Jetta. That's a good description. Second thing you want to do, starting point. Starting point is essential. How can you help others get started? This is helpful to people new to the team or new to the technology. Adding a, start, a starting point to your tickets helps with information knowledge sharing as well as helping with team collaboration. So how do you do that? Maybe you provide an article link. Hey, check out this article. This is kind of where you can uh, get started. Maybe it's another ticket. 
Maybe it's work done in the past or some similar work. Maybe it's just a team member, a team member or someone on another team that could be helpful. Maybe they have expertise in this technology. Maybe it's a link to a repo because maybe there's information or example code located in this repo that you can utilize. So providing a starting point provides, uh, brings people into the fold where they don't feel like they're on an island and they can quickly get up and running. Acceptance criteria. Confirm that these things are working. Most good ticketing systems include a field for this, but it's up to us as the team members to use it. Teams should collaborate on what they feel is considered to be working. It also helps to clarify what should be built, modified, to, to ensure everyone has a common understanding of the problem. Automated test or testing may also be a part of this. And last but not least, your definition of done. This is a very important and often missed piece of ticket grooming. This should be agreed upon by your team to ensure a common understanding regarding quality and completeness. Defined by the entire team is almost like a policy, right? This is something that is not separate from uh, or unique to each ticket. This is something that as a team you come up with to define what is complete. Maybe it's documentation. Maybe it's just work peer, uh, your, your, it, that your work is peer reviewed. Is it in production? Maybe that's part of your definition of done. Did it pass all the tests? You can include that as well. In summary, small things matter when you're trying to improve culture. Change here, change there, some buying from the team, the New York. Start improving your, by grooming your tickets. If you don't have an official ceremony, start with your own tickets. Try to achieve some team adoption. An official ticket grooming ceremony provides a much more collaborative, transparent, and sharing team culture and environment. Make sure you provide an adequate description. Titles are not descriptions, remember that. So include enough information to detail what your task or your story entails. Give your team members a starting point so that you can assist them with hitting the ground running. Don't leave them on an island by themselves. What do you define as working or as working? Make sure you have a really well-defined acceptance criteria. Last but not least, what is your definition of done? This should be a collaborative effort defined by the team, and it should be implemented as sort of a po policy for all your project tickets. Thank you. That's uh, my presentation, and may the, <laughs> yeah, thank you.